up, YouTube? Uh, how about that crash, my man Tyler Lane there at the end of the day? That was a pretty good one. My man was wilding out at the skate park. Wilding out. He had a really good day till the very end. But anyways, uh, before we get into the riding and uh, at the Pascagoula Skate Park, I want to touch base with everybody and let you know what we got going on. Got a little bike build going. Uh, for certain reasons, I wanted a little bit different geometry on my frame. It's not a whole lot different, mainly in the back end, a little bit taller stand over. But uh, got the uh, Sunday Dark Wave, Brock Rayford. You know, we're all about that Sunday around here. Uh, still going with the two-tone look like the Street Sweeper. Got a little bit beefier parts than, uh, than what came on that Street Sweeper Complete. Uh, decided to go with uh, some caliber cranks, uh, 160 length crank arms, because I got them short legs, and, uh, and these help out. I love having them a lot shorter. Used to run 175, 180 back in the day, and uh, that's just way too long. And uh, we're just gonna kind of run through a few parts. I ain't really gonna film us building it, because y'all know how to build a bike, so we ain't gonna get into all that. Taking it back to my old school days, Got the Primo uh, seat post, which is really nice. Uh, my seat's inside, but I got a duck canvas uh, Sunday Sunday seat. We got the uh, Odyssey Bluebird half link in silver. Thought that looked pretty pretty snazzy on there. Got us the uh, Odyssey utility sprocket. Uh, it's in blue, but we're gonna get some stuff and we're gonna take this anodized finish off and uh, make it silver. And uh, another uh, Primo product. I like these because the, uh, the pedal goes all the way to the crank arm. There's like very, like maybe eighth of an inch of space, if that, between the crank arm and the pedal. So that's pretty sweet. Keeping the theme, Sunday and Odyssey. Uh, Odyssey grips, I believe these are I forgot this fella's name here. He's got it on here somewhere. Travis, Travis Hughes, some Travis Hughes grip. I like the, uh, the squiggly lines. They use a the grip pretty good. Decided to go full pegs all the way around. Got four Sunday pegs stacked up here. Uh, I got built-in hub guards on everything except my uh, my drive side, so I went with the G-Sport. I had the uh, Eclat uh, Overguard, I believe it was the Overguard. It was like a lot bigger than this. Thickness is about the same, but it's just way, way too much. Way too heavy, we're going for light. Sunday bar pad, gotta have that, I hit it frequently. Got me a new uh, frame bag, Merit frame bag. Gotta keep them keys somewhere, can't have them in the pocket. And we got, uh, naturally we got the Odyssey V2 clutch on the back. Left hand drive this time, instead of right hand drive. And uh, got the uh, Hazard Light Odyssey rims, hard anodized black. Went with a little bit different tire this time. I'd actually swapped my street sweeper over to the Brock Rayford tires. And uh, there, it is a really, really heavy tire. So these two together are like a half a pound lighter than the Brock Rayford tires. And it's the We The People, uh, I believe it's called Activate. Say they got some kind of cobweb technology, helps keep you from getting flats. Some kind of reinforced polymer uh, in the sidewall, keeps from blowing your sidewalls out. It's got a nice hard bead on it. Uh, should set the rim nice. Uh, got the micro knurling. It's, it's basically just like the uh, Brock Rayford, the uh, tread pattern's a little bit different, but uh, the knurling and everything is the same, and they're lighter, a lot, lot lighter. And uh, for the front, we got the uh, hazard light again, hard anodized black, built-in hub guards, because that's a whole lot easier. Got the Vandero Pro uh, front hub, female axles on both, uh, I have turned into a huge fan of female axles. They are freaking awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get all this put together, 
Get the forks in. Oh, I got forks. We're gonna get the forks put in, get the wheels put on, and then that way I can determine what size stem and handlebars I need to get because I'm gonna be pretty particular about my, my, uh, my bar height as far as actual grip height on the bike. Uh, not that I'm pro by any means, but I just like things to be how I want them to be. Uh, Odyssey R25, uh, 41 thermal, lifetime warranty, frames lifetime warranty. I doubt the, the wheels are, but they're not gonna they're not gonna bust on me, but these are sweet. I can't wait to get all this uh, put together. So it'd be black wheels, black forks, blue frame, black cranks, sprocket silver, stem silver, black handlebars, got the uh, tan uh, duck, duck cloth seat. Should look pretty nice. So uh, we'll get all this put together in probably another episode, uh, show you what it looks like. Uh, but until then, enjoy some passing dual skate park. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Send it. Yeah. Come on, speed, speed. Yeah. Yeah! There we go. Yeah! Come on, crank it! Yeah! go keep it going crank it there we go yeah there we go go yeah yes there we go there we go Yeah.